In the heart of Kenya some 2.9 million years ago, a groundbreaking discovery emerged from the earth, the earliest known stone tools etched into the soil. This amazing discovery not only unveiled our ancient past, but also underscored humanity's place in the intricate web of transitioning from prey to predator. In the heart of Kenya, Africa, an era untouched by today's technology, resides the Luo tribe, a testament to remarkable advancement among the tribes of this African region. Inhabited by majestic creatures like elephants, hyenas, and crocodiles, the necessity for dependable tools to defend against and hunt these formidable beasts was important. The imposing figure adorned with a buffalo-like mask is a revered member of the tribe known as Sarah. Meanwhile, the seemingly unamusing individual named Rafiki has earned his place among them by displaying the remarkable courage. He recently earned acceptance into the tribe after bravery confronting and defeating a hyena using only his bare hands. Sarah will initiate Rafiki by providing him with a saber-toothed teeth demonstrating the tribe's practice of not imparting everything at once. Understanding the craftsmanship of such tools is essential for survival within this tribe, and knowing the importance of acquiring vital skills over time. Now, Rafiki must find or craft a spear, saber-toothed teeth, and two fibers to obtain a saber-toothed spear, being a great choice for an introductory hunting weapon in his tribe. Although Rafiki is skilled in solitary hyena hunting, the Lua tribe has chosen to embark on an elephant hunt. Rafiki will observe Sarah's expertise in elephant hunting to minimize any potential casualties and ensure a successful hunt. That didn't go as planned, but the elephant has been successfully brought down, providing viable resources including its tusks, meat, and bones. The elephant's tusks, renowned for their strength, can be utilized as formidable weapons for the tribe. As Rafiki hears the distant sounds of hyenas engaging one of their fellow tribesmen in battle, his instinctual drive to confront these predators surge. With a rising determination, he swiftly makes his way to rescue the poor soul stranded in a tree. Rumors abound that the tribe is contemplating another elephant hunt, despite the loss of two members, including Rafiki, during the previous attempt. But with sheer adrenaline, Rafiki is determined to heed their instructions better this time, learning from past experiences to ensure a safer outcome. The strategy entails prompting the elephant to charge towards a tree, where its tusk will be become lodged, guaranteeing a hunt without casualties and ensuring a remarkably successful endivore. Although the elephant's skin is resilient, the tribesmen's spears will gradually weaken it, leading to eventual demise, as the creature exhausts itself in futile attempts to disentangle from the tree.
Another scene reminiscent of Disney's Jungle Cruise unfolds as the hyenas pursue their prey up a tree. However, with the intervention of the hyena killer and another tribe's member, the situation is swiftly brought under control. This upcoming hunt targeting the hyenas promises to be less challenging compared to the previous elephant expedition. Neighboring tribes have sought the assistance of the Leo tribe in addressing the menace of a rogue saber-toothed cat that has been preying on their livestock and tribe members under the cover of night. In exchange for their help in hunting down this formidable foe, the neighboring tribes have promised abundant resources. Rafiki and Sarah embark on a tricky quest to track and confront this fearsome saber tooth. Our final expedition unfolds a mile away from the tribe's home, nestled by the swamp. Here, the acquisition of a crocodile skin promises to enhance Rafiki's armor, complementing his existing hyena hide armor. But with this journey, the allure of this Baba resource might tempt someone to betray their comrades. Sarah is known as the Croc Killer, and she is adept in the art of crocodile hunting, and will guide the expedition with expertise. Should any challenges arise, Rafiki stands ready to assist. It's crucial to remember that crocodiles have evolved over millions of years, possessing skills that can potentially overwhelm those two tribe members. After the intense battle, Rafiki's thirst leads him into a descent for a drink of water. But never let your guard down. Elephant Tusk, including Rafiki's prized possession, holds significant value and may tempt others to betray and steal. Rafiki's adrenaline surge as he was attacked. Unable to find the identity of his attacker clearly, his instinct strongly suggests that the corporate may have been a FOMO tribe's member, potentially the same individual who betrayed them. Rafiki recalls that this was the attacker and is determined to seek vengeance for the fallen tribe member. With the attacker having better armor, Rafiki holds a disadvantage in his pursuit for justice. It's a matter of avenging or being avenged. 